You know, if you have a cargo van business, sometimes you might need to have an emergency business line of credit with EIN only approved, right? Because let's say you, you need cash to take care of business. You need to uh, you need to uh, bid on a project and you just need to have access to extra cash. So in today's conversation, I'll explain to you how to get a cargo van emergency business line of credit with EIN only. OK, so here is the overview I really want you to pay attention to. So when we talk about a cargo van emergency business line of credit, let's go back to the origins. Let's first understand really what a business line of credit is for a cargo van. So when you think about a cargo van business line of credit, you basically get the option to take out a loan known as a draw. But but this draw does not require you to take out a loan when you apply. If approved, your account will have a maximum credit limit, so you can then you can then take out a single loan or a series of loans against your credit limit, and you will only pay interest on the amount you borrow. And you can use the cash for a lot of things. You can use the cash to make payroll, for example. You can use the cash to actually uh, maintain, or yeah, you can maintain your uh, your cargo van. You can pay suppliers. You can actually pay for brokers. You can pay for you can pay for dispatchers. The thing is that if you have a cargo van, you know, I know that sometimes you have ups and downs. You know, stuff happens. The economy is down. People are just banks are filing for bankruptcy. You know, people that it's kind of complicated to have loads here and there. Okay, you go, you you go on load boards. You go on uh, on uh, load boards. You don't find any uh, a, a, any deal at all. You, uh, local shippers don't mind your business. Whatever. I mean, things can be complicated. So when you have when you go through this seasonality. Ups and downs, ups and downs. Sometimes revenue is not really static. Revenue is not constant. This is why you might need to have a cargo van emergency business line of credit. Okay. And the thing is, when we talk about cargo van credit line, line of credit, uh, the, that is a proper word. There are different types of uh, business line of credit for cargo van businesses. Okay. You have a secured cargo van business line of credit. You, you also have an unsecured business line of credit for your cargo van. Usually when you get a cargo van secured business line of credit, it means that you are collateralizing the business line of credit. It means what? It means that you are pledging the cargo van or another assets within your business as a collateral for the business line of credit. So what happens here is that the, the lender, okay. The lender is going to keep the title to the asset that you just collateralized. This is very important. And then you have revolving lines of credit and non revolving lines of credit, too. Boss, here is the approach I really want you to pay attention to. This is really important. OK, now the question is, is it really hard to qualify for a cargo van emergency business line of credit with EIN only? The answer is no, it's not hard at all. OK, I mean, people would people will be telling and listen, it's not hard at all. It doesn't really matter if your cargo van business is a startup or you have an established business. It's not really complicated. You just need to understand the formula. You need to know the process that will get you there. OK. And uh, by the way, boss, welcome back to the show. It's really fantastic to have you here and uh, always have conversations about cargo van business, how to make more money, how to how to find loads, how to deliver loads, how to do all of these things in a safe and productive way. OK, so people will tell you, well, you know, your business must be at least six months old and meet the minimum requirements to actually qualify for an emergency cargo van business line of credit with EI and only. And I'm here to tell you, you don't have to. You know why? Because it's all about making sure that you talk to the right lender. This is so important. You got to talk to the right lender. OK, so so basically, if you are if you are trying to let's say you want to get a line of credit for from your, your your bank and you have you have had a relationship with them for the last 10 years or 20 years, that's good. OK, and uh, you don't. So you don't have to be in business for six months. You can be in business for three months. You can still get it. It doesn't matter whether you're an LLC, whether you're an LP, because that your your, uh, your legal structure doesn't really matter. However, you need to be a business. If you try to get this on an EIN only basis, you need to be a business. So if you are listening to me right now and you happen to be a sole proprietor, you happen to be an owner operator that that's a sing, who is a single member L, who has a single member LLC, you might not get a, a, a you might not I mean if you don't, if you don't have a company, you might not get it. You can get an EIN without without a company. But if you are trying to get this uh, business line of credit that I'm talking about, you need to have a, a business. OK, you can have a single member LLC. That's a business. OK, and just make sure you have all the all the proper paperwork. So we're talking about I will speak about the paper, the steps later on. But it's important to have uh, things like your business licenses. Make sure your insurance is uh, is up to date. Very important if you especially if you are loading like uh, 
niche products, if you have niche loads, such as perishables, for example, if you're doing reefers, okay, you know, you, you have a, you're doing a refrigerated uh, loads, for example, or you just are, are really, uh, you're hauling hazmat. So those are really important. And, you know, when you start dealing with, or if you're doing OTR, you know, interstate OTR, if you're doing interstate OTR, you, you know, you need to have authority, right? So those are things you need to be really, really up to date with. So here, here are my pro tips for you, boss. If you're listening to me right now, one thing I want to say here is that when we talk about getting a cargo van emergency business line of credit with EIN only, it's really important to understand the lender's requirements. So it doesn't really, it doesn't really matter the lender you have, uh, you have actually chosen to zero in on. But once you have decided to focus on a lender, make sure that you are able to talk to to know the those lenders' requirements. Okay, so lenders have a, a constellation of a. Uh, of a criteria so they they want you to have a business entity i've spoken about that before okay so if you are an owner operator you want to get a cargo van emergency business line of credit yeah and only you might not qualify if you don't have a business entity so you got to have a business entity and because some lenders offers those business line of credit only to incorporated and registered businesses you might need to have good credit okay so your personal credit history and scores also matters especially when it comes to your cargo van business, business line of credit. Okay. And uh, by the way, I want to quickly remind you to this topic. What are we talking about here? We are having a convo about uh, how to get a cargo van emergency business line of credit with EIN only. And how do we get it fast? Okay. It's not about just like, uh, you know, prolonging the whole thing and just being, uh, just applying for a business line of credit. You never know when they get you the cash anyway. And, and in the meantime, you're losing loads. In the meantime, you, you, you know, you're just losing loads. You're losing a lot of clients. Okay, so, and uh, sometimes some lenders might ask you for a personal guarantee. So this is something that I want you to really think about and uh, just make sure that you're comfortable with that too, okay? Some lenders will ask you for it and it is what it is. You can't, you can't just like, uh, you can't just ignore it. So PG, PG is important. If you want to avoid PG, just make sure you apply with EIN only. If you apply with EIN only, if you apply the proper way, you will basically avoid the PG, and which you should anyway, because you you really need to uh, cover your ass. So you need to cover your personal assets. Also, it's really important to actually pay attention to your revenue. So if you are trying to get a cargo van emergency business line of credit with EIN only, you need to actually have uh, your revenue actually uh, clarified. And this is where I'm, I'm asking you right now, if you're listening to me, to make sure that you have your P&L, your profit and loss statement, okay? And, uh, or it's sometimes it's called your statement of income. You you will need to have accounting software to do that, or you, you will need to hire an accountant. Yeah, sometimes if, if you have a back office, let's say you have a dispatcher, uh, a dispatcher they will actually take care of that as well for you so anything i'm saying right now if if it sounds like a, a foreign language to you you can ask questions in the below section in the comment section will certainly answer you and but the thing is that uh, listen if you don't understand what i'm saying just outsource the whole accounting function to a third party so you know you because what you want to do you want see your thing is you must be at the wheel right you don't want to waste time actually, uh, you know, dealing with admin stuff unless you want to. So what you want to do here is that you want to outsource it. And uh, lenders will also ask you about years in business. Some lenders will want you to have at least two years in business. Some will want to have three years in business. So make sure that you, you've done the homework on that front also. Okay. So that you know exactly how to actually, uh, because, because if you're trying to get an emergency cargo van, em uh, cargo van business line of credit, you need to have, you need to have the proper years in business. Okay. And uh, the the uh, the lender will also ask about your business's industry and size. Here, the lender knows that you are in the delivery industry, but what niche are you in? What kind of loads are you hauling? Okay, are you in a niche? Are you hauling niche loads, or are you hauling all kinds of loads? This is important. And when was the last time 
you have actually uh, hauled a, a, niche, a load for someone. And in other words, what is your your uh, load backlog looking like? Do you have an empty backlog or you have a full backlog? So those are really important when it comes to deciding whether or not your cargo van business is financially stable enough for the uh, for the lender to uh, take a chance to actually take a risk by lending you an emergency business line of credit with EIN only. So those are really important, if, especially if you're trying to get the EIN only part. You got to make sure that you have taken care of uh, the other, the other, the other part, the other, uh, the revenue part, the the industry and size. Okay, very important. Another thing I want you to pay attention to here is the business plan. Business plan is important. Okay, your cargo van. You might be thinking, well, you know, this is too much. No, boss, this is not too much. You know why? Because the business plan is not talking about your cargo van, your sprinter van or whatever. No, it's not about the van itself. It's about the business opportunities in your industry. It's about, have you thought about your future? Have you actually uh, tried to lay, to lay out a, a foundation for for your future cargo van business? Because see, the whole thing is you are asking the, the lender to give you an emergency business line of credit with EIN only. But if the lender realizes that you haven't thought about, you haven't thought things through, they're not going to give you uh, this emergency business line of credit. The lender is trying to cover their ass. And so if, if you are appearing as, as ill-prepared, for the whole process, they're not going to uh, grant you the line of credit you are looking for. So this is really important. Okay. So in addition to business plans, they will also ask you to have a uh, financial statements. Okay. So you have, to, again, any, anything I'm saying to you, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, it means you just need to outsource those tasks. Okay. So when we talk about financial statements, we are speaking about what? Balance sheets for your cargo van business. We're talking about income statement for your cargo van business. We're speaking about cash flow statement for your cargo van business. We're speaking about uh, stick hold, a statement of owner's equity with your cargo van cargo van's business. So what am I what am I trying to say here? I'm just trying to say that you need to have a, a whole set of accounting reports. Please just make sure those accounting reports are in accordance with uh, United States generally accepted accounting principles. We have seen some uh, some of our clients. They go on Fiverr, they go on Upwork, they go on those uh, social media platforms and they just assign their accounting functions to somebody living overseas. If the person can live overseas, not a problem, but that person must be must be cognizant, must be uh, comfortable with the United States generally accepted accounting principles. That's, you know, that's all. And uh, another thing, you need to have a loan proposal or a line of credit proposal. Okay, you might also need to have some collateral if you want to uh, collateralize the line of credit. You know, this is totally possible too. So not a problem. So here are the steps I really want to, uh, I want you to, to apply. I want you to have right now. Okay. Apply the following step. See, the thing is, if you want to open a cargo van emergency business, not a credit with EI and only, you need to review your needs and eligibility. Okay. So the thing I'm trying to say here is that you got to ask yourself, okay, I want a cargo van emergency business line of credit. Do I, do I even qualify or can I get the money through another source? Because you're thinking, well, you know, I just need a business line of credit. But what if you need something else? What if you need maybe a business credit card or a gas card or let's say a loan for that matter? You know, just a loan. I mean, you know, the loans are different from my business lines of credit. So those those two are two different animals, so to speak. OK. And so once you do, once you actually review your needs and eligibility, it's really important to move to one step further, which is what the here is where you need to compare lenders. And when we talk about comparing lenders, you have to ask yourself, you know, you want to compare lenders by uh, geography. You want to compare lenders by uh, cost. You want to compare lenders by uh, the field that you're in. Because delivery is really, really, really a big business, right? It's a multi-billion dollar business. So you got to actually do things based on your niche. So let me give you an example. If you were, let's say, in Georgia, for, for instance, and, and I'm telling you to uh, compare lenders, you want to start with Georgia. You know, who are those lenders who are actually lending? At the state level so if you're not really finding a satisfactory person then that's when you want to go to the regional level and if you don't find then you have to go to uh you know to uh to another level but my point here is what my point is you want to constantly make sure that you are getting the right deal from the right person okay by the way i want to quickly uh 
remind you of today's topic again. I'm explaining to you how to get a cargo van emergency business line of credit with EIN only. Okay, so once you have compared the lenders, you need to actually apply. And if you have an, alter an alternative lender, apply online or apply uh, over the phone. But if you have, let's say, uh, a regular, like a traditional lender, such so as a bank or a credit union, it's just always better to apply at a branch. You have said this before, but it's a, it's a really important. And especially uh, because you are given a chance, you are given the bank a chance to see your cargo van, to see that you have a, a tool of production and that you need funding to actually move your tool of, pro your tool of production way, way, way faster and way, way, way better. So you do have uh, this thing to think about, okay? Very important. Here is a bonus for you. If you have made it so far, I want to reward you with uh, extra information. So what do you need to know before getting a cargo van business line of credit for an emergency? The first thing you need to understand here is that a business line of credit can be a helpful tool for your cargo van if you might need money for working capital and emergency expenses. You may also want to use a, a business line of credit to finance projects that require progress payments such as a marketing campaign or a new construction. And But it's very important to understand that when we talk about emergency, we need to think about your cash inflows and cash outflows. Okay. And uh, why do you need money, boss? Is it because uh, your cargo van is not finding new loads? It's not finding new opportunities? You know, what is really going on? Because you might get the loan, you might get the line of credit, but it's important to have a, a short-term view to really understand what's really happening here. Okay, and uh, it's really important to also understand that nobody, no lender is going to support you if you're able, if you're not able to show why they should. Okay, this is why a business plan is really quite essential because it helps you. It has it helps you chart a correct path for yourself, but also for the uh, also also for the uh, yeah for any investors or, or any lender. Okay, so when we talk about a business line of credit for an emergency and then for the cargo van, please make sure that your EI, you have an EIN. Make sure that you have your business plan. Make sure you have your financial statements. This could be actual data or projected data. It, in either case, you need to have a projected data. So it can be uh, both. And you also want to make sure that you have uh, you have thought about your cash flow position. In other words, you have to be in a situation where you must be able to repay whatever you, you charge on the, whenever you withdraw from the uh, business line of credit. It's just something you need to think about. Don't you wait for five years or, you know, like later on to actually uh, repay whatever you actually took out, okay? It's all about making sure you you are able to generate enough revenue, enough, you are able to, to actually attract new loads. You are able to actually load more and uh, higher paying uh, gigs, right? So those are really, really important. So you also want to, and this is an, another important thing, you want to make sure that your cargo van, the actual vehicle, is in good condition because honestly when we talk about a business line of credit for your cargo van it can be about the cargo van itself or it can be about the business either way if you're going to drive in that business and go to and go to a lender make sure that your external appear you know your your appearance is really important it's really really important so this is one of those things where I, i'm just saying that you need to think deep but you also need to know that there are some costs associated with a cargo van emergency business line of credit. So you have things like, uh, so uh, so you have like the draw fee, for example. You have uh, the the uh, in some cases they will charge you for a prepayment fee, okay. And it's also important to know exactly what kind of fees, like to have a long list of all the fees that they will be charging you. So you have a clear idea before you you uh, engage or disengage with a specific a specific lender. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about how to get a cargo van emergency business line of credit with EI and only. So I gave you an overview. We talked about the approach. I gave you a few pro tips. I explained to you the steps and I give you a bonus after, uh, after a, few, uh, a few conversations about the topic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. I'll speak to you another time. Until then, remember, stay marvelous. <laughs>